Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's Sean from Sean K Beauty, and this is Sean K's Beauty Bar, where we grab from the bar and discuss all things beauty. Well, hello, my beautiful friends. A very warm welcome to everybody who's new to my channel and to the many women who have reached out to me and shared their love. Um, thank you so much. It's so encouraging to know that helping you through your skincare journey is really bringing about just improvement with your skin. If you're new to my channel, my background is microbiology and biochemistry. I bring science to beauty, and on the weekends, we do luxury unboxings, makeup tutorials, that kind of thing. So, Nikki, who just left her comment in a previous video that I did, use the super palm granite nutritious line from estee lauder and she says she loves it and i am so happy <laughs> so nikki thank you so much for sharing that down below um i'm working with 30 new women right now guys can you believe that outside of youtube so that does delay me putting up my videos a little bit but it's not going to stop me from putting them up. So I just wanted to give you guys some background of what's going on outside of me doing YouTube. And this is complimentary. This is my adding value to the community and playing my part, I feel, um, as a scientist now in the beauty space. And so I just say a huge thank you. I love you all so much. So today we're going to jump into sunscreens and I'm bringing the science behind sunscreens. I have, uh, do you call it a patio door? A veranda or anyway I have that door open and I'm listening to all these little ones by the pool and they're enjoying themselves and the one thing my mind goes on to is I hope their parents are using sunscreen on them um, and so that's really why I want to bring context to this video I've, I've done a video like this before and it was some time back and I definitely want to revamp and bring refreshers as you all know to everyone and science is always you know, improving upon itself, researchers are always improving upon themselves. So we're gonna talk of why you wanna stay away from one of these ingredients that is known to be in sunscreens and the damage that it brings, but I'm also going to bring to you SPF, UVB, UVA, what they do and how they work. And we're also gonna talk about photons, which is something that no one talks about and I understand. It's it's geeking out on science, I get it. All right, so let's get right into this video. Okay, so let's talk about SPF for a second. What is SPF? SPF is actually the sun's protectant factor. So if you see an SPF of 15, what that means for you, if you were a person that was going with no sunscreen and you stayed out in the, in the sun for 10 minutes and you got burnt, an SPF of 15 is gonna allow you to stay in the sun about 150 minutes longer giving you protection from being burnt um, as opposed to if you were to go out there with no sunscreen on adversely if you use something like an SPF of 30 what you're going to do is you're going to get 4% more protection than your SPF of 15 right so you're getting like 97% more uh, protection onto the skin from you being burnt. So you're really being protected from UVB and UVA rays. UVA, I'm gonna get into in a second, but um, I'm just giving you context right now. If you're going with an SPF of 50, you're being protected 98% more from the sun's burning of your skin, right? So you're getting sun protection up to 98%. So that means your 30 is giving you 4% more protection than your SPF 15, and your 50 is actually giving you um, 1% more protection from the sun. So going up higher into 100 is not gonna make a considerable amount of difference. So an SPF of 30 to 50 is what is recommended. So let's talk about photons and where SPF ties into photons. So what is a photon? And without getting too scientifically um, submerged, because I don't wanna get you guys lost, a photon is actually an electromagnetic force. What does that mean? It is what the sun is, an example of a photon is the sun converting particles into heat and light, 
that is a photon. So 100% of the photons from the sun, when you don't have on any sort of SPF, is allowing 100% of those photons into the skin. If you use an SPF of 15, and I'm showing you here on this chart, um, what is happening is you're getting that 93% protection and it's only allowing in seven photons. If you're using an SPF of 30, um, this is giving you 97% protection and it's allowing only in three photons. So it's important for you to make sure that you're using an SPF of 30 to 50 and not going outside without any SPF on because you're subjecting yourself to 100% of photons. Now, here's where UVB and UVAs come into play with me bringing in all of that, right? All right, friends, so in its simplest terms, the difference between UVA and UVB, so the SPF is protecting you from you being burnt and aging. So UVAs are what I consider or what science considers to be long wave light. It attributes to 95% of ultraviolet light reaching the skin and absorbing into the skin that leads to wrinkles and aging. Your UVB is actually bringing uh, the burning, damaging skin cells and can also bring about some sort of skin cancer. And that's what they're linking that to. It is the exposure of UVB light that is actually allowing for a lot of skin cancers and bringing about that burning onto the skin. So let's talk about chemical sunscreens for a bit. They are a little bit tricky. A lot of people are opting out of chemical sunscreens and wanting to go more physical sunscreens because chemical sunscreens absorb into the bloodstream um, and name ingredient that at small doses can cause issues is oxybenzone. EWG has said that um, you know oxybenzone actually is linked to cancer. So a lot of people are looking at their sunscreens and making sure that that's not in their sunscreens. But I would also say make sure that that is not in your foundations because uh, there are some foundations out there that would say that they have you know, sun protection in there as well. And a lot of them have oxybenzone and I have seen that in quite a bit. So some of those uh, ingredients that are controversial that you're looking at in your chemical sunscreen is your uh, avobenzone, your oxybenzone, like I mentioned, your hom homosylate, um, octocrylene, octanoxate, octisylate. All of these are ingredients that are controversial right now and they're considered endocrine disruptors meaning anything related to the reproductive system um, this can compromise uh, the formation of a fetus it can also compromise your uterus uh, it is also one that is linked to slowing down your metabolism or affecting the metabolism so a lot of people are opting out of the, the chemical sunscreen. So before we get into this, I really want you to get your husbands and the men in your life that you love and care about to wear sunscreen. I have a father that I absolutely adore and love that does not wear sunscreen half the time unless we have to make him wear it and he's always on the water on a boat. So he loves fishing, he's retired, he's living his best life, but he's not wearing sunscreen. And this is something that we really want to make sure that our loved ones are doing, right? So before we go into adult sunscreens, I wanna go into, because I could hear the little kiddos at the pool, a kid sunscreen. And this is the Botanical SPF 50 for little kiddos. And what's so great about this is that it is dermatologist tested as well as pediatrician tested. Um, and we talked about an SPF of 50 and what that means, 98% protection from the sun, right? And we want to protect our kiddos. This one is you want to put this on 15 minutes before you are bringing your kids out into the sun. You want to reapply this after 80 minutes. Uh, if they've been in the pool and they've been sweating, you definitely want to put this on um, and every two hours. If it is a child um, around six months or under, definitely seek your doctor's uh, approval before doing something like that. What's so great about this uh, SPF is the fact that it is without dyes, it's paraben free, no SLS, no oxybenzone, and the key ingredients in this as a mineral sunscreen is going to be your zinc uh, oxide and your titanium dioxide. This product retails for about $15.99 at your nearby Ulta. You can also go directly 
off of um, the website itself, um, which I prefer a lot of the times to purchase my products directly from the manufacturer because I am learning that there are, and I talked about this in previous videos, please be careful about buying products on Amazon as well as eBay because a lot of them are not the authentic product. So there are dupes of everything, not just the Chanel boy bag, okay? <laughs> All right, let's go into this next product. Okay, friends, so this next on screen is actually by Organic Pharmacy. This is an SPF of 30, has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Don't come for me, it's $69, it's up there in price. But guess what, guys, on their actual main website, it is sold out so that can tell you that this is a really great sunscreen this has titanium dioxide as well as uh, zinc oxide is broad spectrum so protecting you from uva and uvb is great for the face and the body and some of the key ingredients in this as well giving you some antioxidant properties is like your aloe vera gel aloe vera as you all know i did a video on that i'll leave the card right here is really great um not only as an antioxidant but also for healing right so it makes sense why they put this in here as well um, it also has vitamin E in it uh, the aloe vera so this makes sense as to why they would try to put you know great uh, ingredients in here that are skincare properties as well so calendula is in here rose hip is in here as well um, again it retails for $69 so it's up there in price but it must be really great because a lot of people are raving about it all right, friends, so this next sunscreen is actually very lightweight. It is from Vive Sana, and this is an SPF of 30. It has zinc oxide, and it's coupled with argan oil. So if you have, argan oil is a very light oil, but if you have oily skin, I would say you may want to opt out of this one. Um, but it actually has some really great antioxidants in it as well. Antioxidants like your raspberry seed. It also has um, licorice root in here. So not only giving you the sun protection, but actually bringing about a nourishment to the skin and being very lightweight so it doesn't feel greasy and oily on the skin. Definitely blurs the skin, right? So you're, we go for blurring products when we're trying to minimize the appearance of pores. So that's what this is going to do. And it just sits on the skin beautifully. So this one, again, if I haven't mentioned it before, is $55. And um, yeah, I will leave the link below for all of these. And this is um, giving you UV protection and it has an SPF of 50. It is more of a matte like finish to it. So if you have oily skin, you may want to go with this. Non toxic to people and to the coral reef. And again, this has no oxybenzone. Oxybenzone has been known to affect the coral reef. So this one is really going to be a good one. It retails for $64. It is up there. I do know that. Um, but a lot of people love it. It has like four and a half stars as far as reviews goes. So that's really great. And you can use this on its own or over your makeup. You know, sometimes we say putting it under the makeup, but you can actually wear this over the makeup. And you definitely want to use your sunscreen on the back of your hands. This is great for the face and for the body. So definitely make sure that you're covering everywhere that you know is going to be exposed to the sun. All right, friends, so the sun is going down on me, but that's okay. We are gonna keep on going. This next sunscreen is actually one that I've talked about this brand in my previous video, which was a long time ago, and that is Super Goop. And this is the Super Goop Glow Screen sunscreen with an SPF of 40. I uh, really love this brand. They keep on getting better with their sunscreens. This one is actually rich in hyaluronic acid. So if you have dullness and dryness to the skin, fine lines, this is going to help with that because of the hyaluronic acid, whole bringing in that moisture to the skin. Um, as you know, one gram of hyaluronic acid holds up to a thousand times its weight of water. We all know that and we hear that a ton. This also has sea lavender on the inside of it though as well, which is a great antioxidant um, to help against to help fight against free radicals. And it is vegan as well as uh, cruelty free, paraben free. And another really great ingredient in this is the cocoa peptides that is actually preventing you from having uh, blue light damage. So when you're on your computers or using your devices, this is actually going to help uh, protect your skin from that 
um, light damage as well. Uh, retails for $36. Again, I will leave the links below to all of these products for your convenience. This is considered a chemical sunscreen, so I'm just going to give context to that as well if I'm not saying that in the previous products that I mentioned. All right, friends, so this next sunscreen is by Tula. It is their daily sunscreen gel, broad spectrum with SPF 30. And this is really great because it's non-comedogenic, meaning it won't clog your pores. It's very lightweight. Uh, what I love about Tula's products, and you all know I've mentioned this in previous videos about their cleansers, um, having so many great properties. Uh, this is cruelty-free. It's leaning more on the vegan side of things. Uh, this particular product is $36 and some of the key ingredients in this that I really wanted to drive home is the fact that this has probiotics in it. Now, as you all know, as a microbiologist, these are some of the things we look for too in skincare is uh, probiotics or in your yogurt or, you know, yogurt sometimes we use on our face, right? Um, this actually has lactococcus a ferment lysate in it, which is a probiotic that helps to strengthen the skin's barrier. It also has papaya and pineapple. The enzymatic activity in pineapple and papaya are known to really help with evening out the skin's skin tone. So again, they've outdone themselves here with a, with a sunscreen. Um, it is broad spectrum, so it is protecting you from UVA and UVB rays. Um, it also has ginger root in here as well, which lends to uh, protecting you from blue light. So again, these sunscreens have really approved upon themselves to really not only protect you from UVA and UVB rays, but also protect you from blue light because all of us are in front of our phones and computers um, more times than not now, especially with us having to be indoors. So uh, again, $36 and I will leave the link below. So we have come to the end of the road, my friends. Hopefully you all found this video helpful. The discussion continues as usual. I love interacting with my community. Leave your questions, comments down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Ciao for now.